so I lost my voice and it's coming back so that's why it sounds like this right now but I am in Poland now and I just arrived at my hostel and I kind of just like got settled a little bit the hostel is so cool I'll be here for three days just for like a little solo trip before I go back home next week I just arrived at 7 15 p.m. right now um, I'm just gonna chill tonight probably go into the city and check out a market and then get dinner but the hostel is so cute and I'm so excited so I will show what the hostel looks like so this is the entrance and then when you go through here, there's a bathroom in here <laughs> and the sink and the little washing machine and then in here's the toilet. It's very nice and clean too. And the shower room in here and another toilet, cool. <laughs> and then there's also this kitchen area. and another room with bunk beds where people are staying. But yeah, this is the kitchen area, it's so cute. Then my room is right across from the entrance door in here and it's apartment one. And I'm actually the only one in here so far, so it's pretty nice. <laughs> there's this mirror and then there's four bunk beds. And so I chose the bunk bed here and it's cool because it has these little curtain sliders for a little bit of privacy and then you might be able to hear the chatter but there's also this little patio out here and there's some people eating outside so the host gave us this little card with the Wi-Fi password, some shampoo soap, and this towel here, and this is the bed. I'm in what's called Planty Park right now and it's really cute. I bought this drink and I literally cannot figure out how to open it. It's so annoying. It has this like key ring that you're supposed to pull but it's not coming off. I just had to get the Vigab Aloha and this one had marinated pineapples and a mango sauce and for the base kebab meat it was uh, made with a bio tofu pods and wheat protein and it had a bunch of veggies inside and it was so delicious and filling and this huge wrap cost only about six dollars too. I'm back in my hostel now and this bunk bed is giving me like so many childhood memories. It's about 10 p.m. now so I'm gonna head to bed. I'm probably gonna read because there's this little light here so it's perfect because I can read to sleep. Good morning. It's pretty rainy here today. I have like two free walking tours planned so I hope that's still happening. Um, the hostel filled up yesterday, and um, but everyone left now. Um, I'm really surprised because people just leave all of their things out. Like, I'm gonna leave my things here, but I'm gonna like put it all into one place. 
but I guess I feel like it's like a hostile code or something that like you don't steal. I met one of the girls last night and she was really sweet and like this is all of her friends so it should be fine but I'm just surprised. <laughs> I bought this umbrella in London from Poundland so it was only like a pound I think but anyways I've only been able to use it like probably a total of five times or so and although I prefer sunshine and clear skies it is definitely nice to be able to use things that you bought even if it was only a pound ended and we ended up by the castle eating my leftover kebab this was really big so I only ate half of it I'm just enjoying that now sitting on this rock all the kids are climbing it over there it's so cute I left my kids just climb everything but yeah the tour was like so cool it makes you just appreciate everything so much more just when you have an understanding of the history of it and when you know the stories and when someone can explain things to you if you have questions. It just helps you to understand the significance of where you are and like what happened around you. The tour guide was super funny and he was very friendly. He even made everyone feel included. He was making jokes. It was just a really good experience overall. because I have another walking tour scheduled and it's probably going to be about two hours to get into Oh, where'd you go? Imagine <laughs> women hanging laundry in between talking, arguing, yes, making noise, yeah? Uh, men uh, uh, producing, yeah? So more during the tour we had a little lunch break so I found this vegan place and I got these seitan chicken nuggets with fries and this mango sauce and it was such a delicious big portion. And then this is my dinner, I got a lentil dal soup. I had dinner with two of the sweetest angels that I met during the tour and we ended up hanging out for the rest of the evening. And we went to go see this great dragon parade with fireworks and light shows so just a warning about the lights and fireworks.
good morning. I'm very tired and I probably very look it, but it is a beautiful sunny day today and I'm headed to that cafe that I went to yesterday. Honestly, that's like the tricky part about traveling in such a short amount of times. You want to do so much, but then you actually get so tired at the end of the day. So I went to the restaurant and they don't open until 15 minutes, so I'm just waiting at this little park bench. It's literally 9.30 a.m. and this group of people just approached me, well specifically this guy, and he was like, hello, good morning, do you speak English? And I was like, yes, English, and then he's like, we're having an after party right now, um, would you like to join us? I was like, oh, an after party right now? It's 9.30 a.m. But anyways, of course I did not want to join them and it was a little bit sketchy so like solo travel tip never let anyone know that you're solo unless you like feel comfortable like yesterday the people that i was talking to in the tour group i felt comfortable talking to them about it because some of them were also solo okay i got interrupted because another person actually just approached me um wow they're like partying when these people approach me i just tell them i'm waiting for a friend or like i'm going to meet a friend went back to Planty Park because it surrounds the main city center and I just spent some time here and read my book and then after that I went to go get some dinner which was pierogies. I found out about this restaurant after passing through this street um, during a walking tour and it's so beautiful inside. I love all of the decorations. Traditional pierogies are with potatoes and cheese but this place has a vegan option which was with cabbage, onion, and mushrooms. It was so delicious and so filling too. I'm back in my hostel now and I'm just gonna like repack my backpack and make sure I have everything but I just wanted to share <laughs> that I brought these two really thick books and I finished this book on Friday and then I started this book and I'm halfway through today I just use an old Polaroid picture as a bookmark, but yeah, I'm halfway through. I love this book so much. I love romance fiction books. It's, that's something that I always do when I'm alone, is I always bring my journal so I can draw or write, or I bring books so that you kind of have something to do. Yeah, they're just like really great, easy things to do when you're alone, so if you're traveling alone or just spending a day alone, um, books 
and journal are something that I would definitely recommend. I met another lovely friend through my hostel and we spent the evening walking around, talking and watching the sunset and it's so lovely that you can meet people from all over the world while traveling. I'm so grateful for my time here and that I got to see and experience this beautiful city. Hey. I'm home at last. Um, well, home in my accommodations at Roehampton in London, but it feels so good to be home. I can't believe I did it. I did a solo trip that was so much fun and there was definitely a lot to learn. So I just wanted to share some insights and some of my experience throughout that short trip. So throughout these past couple of months, I have had experience traveling throughout Europe. So that's definitely one of the biggest reasons that I felt comfortable enough to actually do it on my own. Traveling solo can definitely be very intimidating and scary. Um, and it has its moments, but it's also very liberating and it's a really good way to build trust with yourself. I just think it's so special to have that experience just for yourself. So this is a given, but definitely like use your own judgment to make the decision of whether you're going to be traveling solo or not. For maybe going on like another country trip or something, just do like a day by yourself or like a weekend by yourself maybe or a day trip by yourself and see what that's like just so that you can kind of get an idea of what it might be like to be alone for example doing things like eating at restaurants alone and even just like in general walking around the streets alone especially because i went to poland and i was kind of just like really out of my element there it wasn't a very diverse area so a lot of people were just like staring at me um but i didn't mind i mean i get it i kind of stood out compared to the rest of the people yeah it, it can be intimidating if you're alone and like everyone is staring at you and like you you try to smile at people or be friendly but nobody smiles back and I definitely don't want to generalize any group of people because there were definitely people that were very friendly and I ended up making some friends but there were also people who were just more to themselves and that's completely fine too just being aware that you are in a different environment and you might be treated differently based on that environment is very important another thing if you're going to be in Europe I would recommend booking a hostel or like a dormitory room share because I had initially booked an Airbnb for like a private room but then um, I was watching some YouTube videos and doing some research and reading blogs. Other solo travelers also recommended staying in a hostel or a group room because it's actually really nice to be around people and it's a great way to meet new people and you kind of have this sense of connection with the other people staying in the room. Just like make each other feel safer. Hostel room, there was people coming in and out each day the first night I was the only person in there. I was a little bit worried because there was two rooms and in the other room there was a bunch of guys and I was in the room alone. And so when another girl showed up, her name was Charlotte, who's from France, we both just felt so relieved. We're like, oh, thank God there's another girl. And you just, you just build that sense of connection and safety. I would also recommend doing like group tours or group activities. I did two walking tours and I met such amazing people and it's just nice to be in a group but not have to feel pressure to socialize entirely. <laughs> also like the group tours and the walking tours and everything are so informative and, and so much fun. It really it really makes the experience so much more immersive when you understand the significance of the area that you're in. You know things instead of just seeing things. So those are very valuable experiences. And to end, I guess I would just say, just do some research about the area that you're planning to visit first. I decided to go to Krakow in Poland because I saw a lot of blogs, right, that it was a safe area for female solo travelers specifically. It's also very affordable and very cheap. It's like a less touristy area, so it's a smaller city, but there's still so much to see and it's still very beautiful and significant. I feel like it's nicer to be in a smaller city and a less popular area when you're alone um, because it's a more intimate experience in general and also like going to bigger cities and more popular places is something that's much more enjoyable to do with other people yeah that was a great solo travel experience and I just feel so blissed out. I had so much fun. I met the sweetest people who are, were literal angels and they made me feel so safe and we just had so much fun. It's mostly just like finding vegan food and walking around but honestly that's just what I enjoy doing so yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for your time.